So we got about 1,300 mobs there. Unbelievable. Let's get this going if we can. So normally in Minecraft, when you have such an amount of entities, bad things happen to your game. But with the latest snapshots, they seem to not cause too much trouble, actually. Like, I can walk around, no problem. I can, I can open chests and stuff, no problem. They are m moving very slowly because they can't keep up, as you would expect. But, like, if I'm not looking at them, I still get normal frame rate and everything. It's, it's really interesting and really cool um, how this multi-threading works. Normally that would just kill your game, but I'm not having too much trouble, really. Let's see what happens when we kill them now. I think the XP orbs are a different story. <laughs> Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, game, game dying. Let them despawn. Once they get through the death animation, it should get better. Particles are gone. I'm getting 30 frames per second here. I don't see any XP orbs though, do you? Man, look at all those goodies. Oh, there they come. <laughs> Uh-oh. And there go the frames. Alright, well, we got 70 levels from that one killing spree there. It took like 15 minutes to collect everything. <laughs> uh, but the stuff doesn't despawn because the game's running slower in that time. Um, so I've been trying to get Depth Strider on my boots. I did get Depth Strider 2. I want to get Depth Strider 3, though. 2 is decent. It seems like I'm a lot quicker. But that's because I have the speed beacon here as well. Uh, so I want to see what 3 is like with the speed beacon. Uh, let's see if we put that in. Protection 4. Sharpness 4. I guess we'll do a book. Sure. Okay. Lots of enchanting to do. Unbreaking, nope. Unbreaking, nope. We'll do another book. Oh. <laughs> uh, not really worth it. Mm, do a book again, I guess. Oh, feather falling. That's not bad. Mm. I always check for looting three. If there's looting three, I take it for sure. Protection three. Sharpness 3. Alright, it's another book. Unbreaking. I keep getting Unbreaking 3. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm taking that. Looting 3, Sharpness 4. Very nice. Power 4. Projectile protection. No. Yeah, I'll take that. Come on, Depth Strider. <laughs> it's gotta happen. Alright, let's just do the rest books because this is taking a while. And efficiency 4 is very good. Just about out of levels. Come on. Depth Strider. Oh, Unbreaking is good as well. That's it. We didn't get it. Darn it. <laughs> so these boots, I got these with uh, level 30 enchantment. It was Protection 3 before, but it was... I got, It was Protection 3, Feather Falling 4, Depth Strider 2, Unbreaking 3... I added another Protection 3 book on it to make it Protection 4. Uh, so it was a pretty good enchantment, actually. But I want to upgrade it just a little bit more with the Depth Strider. Excuse me, sir? Sir? Hello? Yes, hi. Uh, I believe you have something that belongs to me. If you wouldn't mind... Can I have it back, please? Oh, don't you walk away from me. Oh. Don't you drop it in the lava when I kill you. He didn't drop it. Oh, yes, he did. <laughs> it looks different now. It, I didn't see it. Alright, cool. Uh, I actually wouldn't have found it on the ground. I totally missed it. I just happened to notice he was wearing it. Because <laughs> it was in the area I checked already. And I didn't think I had... I didn't think any wither skeleton heads dropped, but uh, apparently he found one. Oh no. Oh, that redirect. Amazing. Oh, ladders are gone. We're going to do some problem solving today, guys. Oh, is it not going to make it? 
<laughs> Darn it. Let me meet you at the top here. Okay, so here we are at the new gold farm. And there has been some pretty big changes with the way iron golems work. Look, look right there. Um, for some reason, most of the mobs will actually try to kill iron golems. Like, they'll actually chase after them and attack them. Uh, before that didn't happen, and the iron golems would just kill everything <laughs> and not get attacked back, pretty much. Um, so now in the 30C snapshot, it looks like they still can attack the zombie pigmen without getting attacked back. Oh, you see that baby chasing after the, the iron golem, though? Down there. Um, let's go in for a closer look. Yeah, so <laughs> we have to do something about this because the iron golems are taking damage over time here and eventually they'll all die unless we can somehow heal them, right? So we're going to be using regen potions. Why is the tool text behind these? <laughs> I can't read it. Uh, we're going to try to use regen potions. Oh, here we go. Like, even creepers will chase after iron golems and just explode on them. It's crazy. Um, is the chicken after them? Not you too, chicken? Come on. They're good guys. So my plan, this is what we're going to do. I think we should try to get a magma cube on the roof here. Name them with a name tag. I'm going to use Uncle Leo, because <laughs> I had that laying around. And... When a magma cube is in the middle here, all these iron golems will will flock to the middle and try to attack it, but they won't be able to reach it, I believe. And then, if I'm here in the middle as well, nothing else can spawn. So it'll be the only mob that they'll be able to track. So they'll all flock to the middle, and then we dispense a regen potion on them. And if we do that every so often, that should keep them alive. And then, after we dispense the regen potion, move myself and the uh, magma cube away from here away from the middle up to there or something uh, on a rail line and then stuff can stuff will be able to spawn here again and the iron golems will start tracking the other mobs so that is the plan uh, I guess we gotta try to get a magma cube on the roof <laughs> that should be fun <laughs> there is something wrong with these guys they just take it now. <laughs> All right, I can live with that. Um, so I'm just making a little spawning platform at the top here, and hopefully we get a magma cube. Okay, I just had another idea though. <laughs> this one might be way better. Uh, I'm pretty sure the only reason the zombies are spawning is because there's dark spots in the nether here. So I'm lighting up all these little dark patches where it's like light level gets down to 7 in very few places, but it does. If we light all those up, I'm pretty sure the zombies won't spawn anymore. And if they don't spawn, uh, these guys aren't going to take much damage. Uh, the only thing that will damage them is the magma cubes, and that doesn't happen very often. And it turns out the plan works perfectly. There's no more zombies spawning in there. I moved all the lights out of the ceiling. They're in the ground now. And I had to redo it a couple times. <laughs> turns out I learned something new today. Those zombies that spawn when you when you hit a zombie and it like calls for reinforcements, that happens at light level 9 and less. So right now the darkest spot in here is light level 10 and it goes up from there. So they can't spawn anywhere anymore, which is great. And these guys should stay alive much, much longer uh, because of that. I might try to change out these glowstones with a block that uh, gives off light but doesn't uh, take away a spawning space. I haven't tried those lamps, the new lamps, if they work like glowstone or not. Uh, the sea lanterns. If they don't, we can try maybe putting in just regular glowstone lamps, and I think those will allow spawns. Oh yeah, we got one! We got one! <laughs> Finally! Oh, that's awesome.
I made a little spawning platform outside of the thing here. Oh, don't tell me I ate an apple. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I just, I pressed right click. I didn't hold it at all. Uh, yeah, just a little, little tiny spawning platform, all these blocks here. So that when they attack the zombie pigment, there's a chance the zombies will spawn out here because it's dark enough. And after a couple zombies here, we actually got a zombie villager. And hopefully he turns into a cleric so I can get rid of some of this junk here. No! <laughs> we got a librarian. We didn't get a cleric. Um, like, it takes a long time to get a zombie to spawn. And to get a zombie villager is even more rare. So I just had an idea. To speed things up. You can have them. <laughs> I want a cleric, man. That guy's useless to me. Alright, so he should be a zombie villager again. Yes. Oh! oh that's right, he's mad at me. Why, why are you mad at me? I've never done anything wrong to you. Don't be like that. Okay, we do that. And hopefully we get a cleric this time. I can just keep re-rolling him. And I ate the apple again. Are you kidding? I clicked it. I clicked it. I didn't hold the button. <laughs> Why does it keep making me eat the second apple? Nope. Got a Fletcher this time. Still no cleric. Out of apples. Out of weakness potions. I'll try this again some other day, I guess. Because this is taking forever. <laughs> Let's go do something else. Woohoo! Yeah, so let's check out how these lamps work. Are they like glowstone, or do they function like a solid block? Can you put a torch on it? No, you can't. Can you pass a redstone signal through it? No, you can't. Okay, so it's like glowstone. Which means stuff probably doesn't spawn on it. Let's see. We want fire-resistant potions. You have to click in just the right spot now. <laughs> the stair collision thing is weird. Oh, that's not even the right chest. I think it's over here. Oh, there we go. We're going to get some fire-resistant potions. Uh, we're going to go try get some, some rabbits, some bunnies for our base. Uh, we found some last episode just by chance. And I got a portal out there now. So let's see if we can bring them home. Oops. <laughs> That's exactly what the fire resistant potions are for, just to get them through that. Uh, so it's out this way. This isn't annoying at all. Oh man, come on, stop. There we go. Also, a lot of you seem to really like the room I designed last episode, which is really cool. Glad you guys like it. Um, yeah, I think it turned out pretty good. So as as I collect more of these blocks, I might try to do something on a bigger scale with them out where I dug that hole at the Guardian Farm and try to decorate that and make it look nicer. You guys said that these change color too. These ones. Depending on what time of day it is. I don't see anything happening. <laughs> Are you trolling me? Uh, a lot of people said, though, it must be true. Alright, this is probably a bad path, but we're going to try guide them down here. Yeah. Might not work out too well. And it's not very far, it's just about 100 blocks or so off the tunnel there. Should have brought a speed push. Alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So I tried today on Creative also to uh, to see if I could get one of those evil bunnies. <laughs> There's like a 1 in 1,000 chance of them spawning apparently. I spawned like 2,000 bunnies in and I didn't get one. I know there's a, a command you could do to do it, but I wanted to try to get it from a, a spawn egg and I just couldn't get one. So they are extremely rare. Hey, you want this? <laughs> he just like froze. <laughs> oh, that guy up there is coming to see it too. Let's see. Hey. Mmm, carrots. Whoa, okay, easy now. Easy. 
want some carrots? Can I lead them? Can I lead a wild rabbit? Is it going to let me? Does it have to be tamed? Apparently they run away like ocelots. Is what I heard. Oh, you can. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, by the ears. So cruel. Uh, I just want to get two. Oh, I thought he broke off. It's confusing that there's two exactly the same here. Did I get it? No. Come on. Come on. Don't run away. Don't run away. And then they'll just like randomly jump right in your face. <laughs> it's so funny. Alright guys, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They're gonna die in the portal. I know it already. Calling it already. Let's see what happens. So do I lose the leads when that happens too? I've never... Because I think I had 15, right? And now they're just gone. I think I had 15. Oh, there they are. Okay. Come on, guys. Very dangerous here. Very dangerous. Can you fit? Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah. Very cool. Okay, they have gotten to places they shouldn't be. So I think I'm just going to tame them. Because I have no way of getting them out of here. <laughs> uh, that's the portal right there, but we're on the, the wrong side of it. No, no, no. Don't run. He's got the hearts. Okay. This guy is... What was that? Oh, no! Really? How did he die? <laughs> oh man. Where'd the other one go? I thought he was tamed. He's supposed to follow me. Hey, hey, hey guy. Are you not my friend? Here we go, guy. Come on. Through the fire and the flames. Oh no. My war mine wore off. <laughs> I think he's still good. Hopefully. Guy, you can do it. I believe in you. Okay, maybe you can't. Did the lead break? I think the lead broke. Um, Alright, I might have to go rescue him. <laughs> Guy? Is he trapped in here? I don't see him. Mm, this portal is very dangerous. He's, he's just gone. <laughs> Did he swim up? Maybe? What on earth? We just saw him. And he's gone. He still had the particle effects. I saw them. He should have been fine. Unless they just wore off. Huh. Alright, let's go get two more rabbits. Okay, how about we refresh right away this time <laughs> before we go. Okay. Come on, guys. Yes. Oh, they did it. Yes, finally. Oops. Oh, I, un I unhooked them. Stop with the clicking. That's right. Come on. So I'm going to put these guys... Uh, Oh, don't tell me he died. Dude, get out of there. Get, get, get. Oh, he's dying. Oh, man. <laughs> man. Let's just do that for right now. That was a close one. We almost lost him again. All right, cool. So we're going to put them out over here, the new area that we built. Oh man, we got bunnies! We got bunnies! <laughs> oh, so cool. Alright, I'm just gonna lock them in here for now. Alright, well I'm having a bit of trouble <laughs> with taming these guys. I thought I could just give them carrots and they would be mine and happy. But I think there's a process to it. They have to do the slow hop towards you thing. That's it, when they get the smoke particles. I see. What about you? Will you do it? 
Why are you... <laughs> what are you doing to that fence gate, crazy rabbit? Um, I don't know what's up with this guy. I think he wants out. What if we open the door? What does he do? <laughs> I think he's just trying to escape. Carrot? Mmm, carrot. That's right. Nope. Oh. He's doing it. He's doing it. Oh, he backed up at the last second. Okay, here he comes again. He's got to be patient. It's like an ocelot, man. Oh, and he got the smoke particles. So now they should both be tamed, right? Are you both tamed? Come on, guys. <laughs> You're killing me. Make of the babies. This is it. This is it. Come on, brown bunny. The white one is tamed. He's teleporting to me. Okay, he's not taken anymore. I think that means he's mine. Oh. Oh, finally. Yes. Oh, it's a baby. <laughs> Only one. I thought you were bunnies. All right, everyone, so that's going to do it for today's episode, but I do have a comment picked out, as usual. This one says, Hey, Etho, you say you read a lot of comments, so do you like reading books as well? And if so, what's your favorite book if you have one? Keep up the good work, by the way. Um, so I don't know the name of my favorite book, but it was some survival-based sci-fi book. I don't know. <laughs> it was a long, long time ago. It's just a short, like, 100-page book or something where these kids are are sent off by their school to some planet and they ended up, like, turning into savages and fighting each other. It's not Lord of the Flies or anything. It was something else. Uh, that was a pretty good book, though. I, I like reading books, but I don't do it, like, at all. Like, <laughs> I've read maybe... 10 to 20 books in my life. That's it. Um, I do really enjoy them, but I enjoy playing video games way more. <laughs> way more than watching TV or anything else like that. So that is what I do. Where's Zenith? Which one is Zenith? Uh-oh. Where, where did Zenith go? Oh, there we go. Whew. Had me worried there for a second. So yeah, I... Uh, I know there's thousands of great books I would probably enjoy out there, but there are thousands of great video games I haven't played either, so I I think I prefer video games. <laughs> to me, they're the ideal form of entertainment, and so that's what I like to do. Uh, but thanks for the comment. Uh, just a heads up to everyone, I'm going to be very busy this next about a week or so. I'm trying to record a bunch of episodes ahead of time here, Hopefully they'll help fill in the gaps. There might be a day or two missing. Currently, as I'm recording this, there's three days missing. <laughs> Hopefully I can get it down to at least two. Um, so if, if I don't upload anything for a while, it's just a little bit out of my control. Hopefully I get back to schedule soon, though. Uh, but thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.